Welcome. I am Eric with Mwade.com and I greet you, beloveds, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. So let's take a look at the financial space and we're going to be taking a look at the XLF to begin with here because as you are aware, I bet you are aware, there's a lot of excitement as regards the banks and we can see the XLF is essentially trading at multi-year highs. And so it is obvious that the crowd, the investing world is taking note and is moving this sector higher, which is the banking financial space higher. Now, generally speaking, whenever you hear and see that the multitude is moving in one direction, sometimes it's not the best signal <laughs> because, hey, markets are very good at trapping people. They are genius at that aspect. So, if I take a look at GS, Goldman Sachs, is the one thing I do notice here is if I take a look at the monthly chart, there is, at, as of this very moment, there was a breakout attempt early in the month of January or at some time over the last two weeks. Of course, this being the second trading week for 2022. But what I can see and what one can observe, this is... As of right now, a field of breakout for GS. Now, we are using the monthly closing high. By the way, this is about five months of weekly, excuse me, monthly date. So five months. And it is five year. All right. Five year monthly chart. And this is GS. So. The price that I'm talking about here goes back to the month of August. So August 2021. And that monthly closing price, which is now effectively the breakout level on the monthly for GS, is 411.32. So, 3.4. So, 411.34. It needs to clear this price. Otherwise, I suspect the financials are not ready yet. This instrument needs to clear 411.34 for this to truly be a sector that is empowered to move higher. Another thing that needs to happen for GS is the monthly would have to move back above RSI. Yep, 69.1. Right now, trading at about 67 and change. So the monthly is still not there. And we can see one of the MACDs is fine. So we have one of the MACDs effectively at three-year high. So this is good. So no problem there. So the monthly would need to break out. But the main takeaway now is what follows is on the weekly. On the weekly, I see a couple of lines that are the current short-term challenge. They are only a short-term challenge. Let's call it some type of a nuisance. It doesn't mean that they can't clear or the stock can't clear the lines. Line number one is an obvious top side RSI resistance line. The stock so far is responding to that line. That's line number one. Line number two is a back test line going all the way back to the lows of early 2020. I'm going to extend this line. It's going to be something as like that. What this line does, it connects the lows here and here. And we can see that again, it is coming close to this back test here. I should have mentioned this is a two year weekly chart. So two years of weekly data. Each line you see here is each of these lines is a week of action. Now, there is another line and to draw this one, I might have to clear all these other lines so we can see it. All right, so we can see it clearly and it's going to look like this. So there is a break here of the highs there, the current all-time highs late 2021 so we draw our uniformity line if you're not familiar with the uniformity concept it's a concept by yours truly for you 
to consider adding into your trading regiment. Links are going to be in the description for free. All of them YouTube videos. So that's also another layer of nuisance or resistance. So I'm going to bring back the other lines, which is the top side resistance line. And then we have the back test line. search so we can see that all of these lines are converging exactly where we see resistance for early 2022 so until such a moment where we can clear and move above all of these lines it seems to me that this current move in the financials in early 2022 for now, could be a trap, just could be a trap. Again, what, what is it going to take for it to be a true powerful momentum to the upside? We would have to clear these weekly resistance lines to the upside and we would have to break out on the monthly chart above 411.34. Otherwise, guys, remember, this market is brilliant at snagging people to take the wrong trade just before they flip the switch and sometimes the visual cues can be our savior trap or joy we shall see in 2022 and so it is I am Eric with Mwade.com and I leave you as I found you in the love and in the light of the one prime creator. Go forth therefore rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one prime creator. Adonai my friends, Adonai.